In C++, just like in other languages, we need to separate code into different files so that it's easier to understand and to manage. We do this using include statements. For example, here in this main.cpp file, I have an include arithmetic.h statement, and that allows me to use this add function, which takes two integers and returns an integer. Newcomers to the C++ language find this usage perplexing. They're used to other languages like Python, where the file you're importing and the file you're importing into both have the same extension, .py. The key to understanding header files in C++ is to note that the reason why we use include statements in C++ is very different from the reason why we use import statements in Python. In Python, we have to tell the compiler the file name where the code that we intend to use resides. In C++, on the other hand, we don't need to tell the compiler where the code is. We simply need to tell the compiler that the code exists so that it doesn't assume that we forgot to write the code for that function. This pr process of telling the compiler that the code exists is actually called declaration in C++. In fact, we don't really need to use an include statement here to be able to use this add function. I can delete this include statement and replace it with a declaration of the add function. And as long as the code for this add function exists somewhere, the uh, compiler will not complain and everything will run fine. In our case, the add function is in fact defined in the arithmetic.cpp file, so we should be good to go. And we can test this now. I can run this and see that we get 2 plus 2 equals 4, so everything's fine. Great, you might say. We've avoided using header files altogether. It's now even simpler than in Python because we didn't have to give it a file name. Well, not so fast. If we were using many other arithmetic functions, uh, subtract, multiply, and so on, and had to declare each of them one by one in our main.cpp file, as well as in any other CPP file where we intend to use them, then these declarations can really start to clutter up our files. The way to solve this problem is to collect these declarations in a separate file and somehow let the compiler know to simply grab them from that file. The separate file that we speak of is of course none other than our old arithmetic.h file. We see here that it contains nothing more than the declaration for the add function. So the way to solve this problem, anticipating that we're likely to use many arithmetic functions in the future, is to move the declaration for the add function from main.cpp to arithmetic.h and to go ahead and use the include statement for the center file in main.cpp, which brings us back to where we started. In summary, header files are nothing more than collections of declarations that get automatically copied into CPP files via include statements. Now, let's go back to this idea that we do not need to tell the compiler the file name where the code for our function exists. Remember I said that was key to understanding header files. See, there's a price that we pay for not having to tell the compiler the file name. And that is that if there's multiple copies or versions for the code for this function, then the compiler will not know which to choose. So we have to be extra careful not to duplicate code for a single function. Stop right there, you say. This is ridiculous. Why would I write the code for the same function twice? Also, five minutes into this thing, and I still haven't heard exactly why I need to distinguish between header files and CPP files. I'm not buying any of this nonsense, you say. So you log off of YouTube, go to arithmetic.cpp, cut its contents, paste them into arithmetic.h, save, and hit run. Everything runs just fine, and you feel vindicated. Now, a month later, you need to call the add function from another file called another.cpp. So we add and include arithmetic.h statement to that file, save, hit run, and... What happened? Well, remember that when you used include arithmetic.h statement in main.cpp, 
it copied the code for the add function into main.cpp. When you used it again in another .cpp, it also copied that same function code into another .cpp. As far as the compiler is concerned, you've just duplicated the code for the add function, something you said would never happen. The right way to avoid this situation is to only write declarations in header files and not write function code there. Note that if a declaration gets copied twice, it's not a problem. All you're doing is telling the compiler that code for the add function exists. It makes no difference if you tell it once or twice. If you find that this video helped you better understand why we need to have a distinct header file type in C++, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you.